Hi, I thought I'd show you a rare sight this afternoon. Um, is Iridium Mermex Pignelli Queen. Um, I rarely see this queen now due to the sheer size of the colony. But look at all the brood. The brood is phenomenal all over the place. And there's the massive brood pile there. Big yellow brood there. Um, if I was to open up the lid, you can see that they are absolutely sporadic. There's so many of them. It's unreal. They're in, they're in, uh, they're in uh, they need an update. They need an upgrade. So that's what I'm going to do. Need an upgrade. Um, what these feed on is dubia roaches, which have absolutely demolished. I can't really clean them out at the moment because of the sheer size. So, um, I absolutely had to paint this all over in PTFE, so that's why it looks all blotchy. But they seem to be doing all right. So um, I can't have them escaping. Um, but as you saw with the queen, the queen moves a lot, so. Um, she'll probably move out into the outworld with the rest of the workers now that have disturbed the nest. But um, they chew through white tongue, which is not good. So they've chewed through the white tongue into here, this area here, which is not good. So I just keep it blocked off now, um, which is why they're in the in in um, debate for an update which is not really a debate but they do really need an update but I've just not got the funds for the update at the moment which is upsetting uh, you know being broke <laughs> but um, what can you do but they seem to be holding up alright I keep putting test tubes in and they keep inhabiting the test tubes so it's alright and it's not too bad Um the living conditions at the moment the living conditions are alright so the massive brood pile the, the queen so if I was to um, I have two more Pignelli queens coming um, next week presumably and presumably well I know this species is polygynous so if this colony is in the polygynous mood, then maybe I could um, introduce a second queen, maybe, or a third queen. So this colony could have three queens. Um, but I know Eridomermex is kind of finicky with that, so you'll get some colonies that stay polygynous, and then you'll get some colonies that don't. So what I'll do is I'll maybe keep the... Um, keep one queen aside and see if she produces some brood and maybe we can see if they can produce a late or something maybe we can do an experiment of some sort like that but this queen when I got her was um quite quite small I believe it or not but now the gaster is absolutely huge so I'm even more happy about that so um it's uh it's quite amazing in all fairness um but yeah, that brood there is, is, is amazing. That brood pile is, goes all the way up the wall to that side there. Which is amazing. And the brood pile here too. And the brood pile's in the outworld as well. You can't really see it right now. But there's an absolute flurry of activity. And the feeding response from these ants is amazing too. I quite like it. The feeding response is... They, they, they're just crazy. I'd like to think that they're a more robust, crazy version of black crazy ants. Because every black crazy ant colony that I've kept just dies on me. I don't know why. Now... I've had about four colonies of Pargicina longicornis, and Pargicina longicornis, they're just, they're very fragile, but due to them being very fragile, you'd think, how are they so invasive? I don't know, but, um, they're not as easy as it seems, or at least I'm not having good luck with them at the moment. So I'll give Pargicina longicornis another go in the future, but not right now. Um... So, yeah, the six queen colony that I had of Perjicuta Longicornis sadly passed away due to, I don't know, I just don't know, it's just bad luck. I've been having extremely bad luck with Perjicuta Longicornis uh, for the past few years now. I've had four colonies, it's not good. Four or three colonies, either or, but...
I've been in this hobby for a long time, so I don't really, really know. But, um, that's not why we're here today. We're here to look at Arena Mermex Pignelli. Um, this side here on the right is more developed larvae. Well, more developed as in eat massive larvae ready to pupate into workers. If I can get an actual shot on it because these ants are so sporadic and I can't really do much in the way of focusing. But yeah, you can see the mature larvae there ready to pupate. You can see the young workers there helping the um, uh, older ants there too, which is nice to see. And when the ant actually it closes, if I can get a good shot on that worker there, because that worker's just sitting there. Um, there she is there. If I can get a nice clearer shot, maybe I need to move it there. Yeah, you can see there that they're um, quite pale looking, and you can see their eyes more and more or less than you would the elder workers, the elderly workers. You can't really see any, any, uh, any features like that. But they do have a distinct iridescent colour, hence their name are the Mermex. But it depends on which way you look at them. Like some of them are brown, some of them are different colour. Even a hint, a tinge of blue that I see sometimes when I shine the light a different way. It's amazing to see. Um, but yeah, they they're um, believe it or not, they're not that messy. I would I would think you'd think they would be knowing how absolutely unpredictable they are. But they pile up their their garbage here, and they don't really nest in the, in the nest anymore. They nest in the outworld with all the garbage, and they like they break it down and put it in here, so it's like a garbage bin. But then when they do come in, because I hydrate it, they they um, take all the garbage out and they the nest in here but there's the queen again the queen is absolutely phenomenal huge what i got her or get her over is must have been small but now they're big so they must be ready to produce eggs i don't know when this colony will produce a late um but here's hoping that they will um um this colony will be a permanent feature on the channel for us how long the queen survives um, which has been about a year now. Um, she's a year old. This colony is a year old. So I'll be keeping them organised and a permanent feature on the channel for how long the Queen survives. Um, but now she's getting fed by the worker there because they've recently been eating a dubia roach. So they, they're um, well fed. They don't go unfed at all. They're, I think they're fed the most, in all fairness, more so than Solidopsis Gemadana, which I own two colonies of Solidopsis Gemadana now, and they, they eat more than I expected, but these eat more and more than I expected, if that makes sense, anyway. Anyway, I'm just rambling on now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Mermex Pignelli and what they do. Um, would I recommend this species? I would. I would recommend this if you can afford it on Ant Keeping Depot. Um, it's not too expensive, but for an Australian species, I'd say so. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, have a nice day, and I'll see you later uh, in another video. Maybe I'll do an, an update on their cousins. Maybe I'll do an update on Erdemermex Perpareus or something as such. If you've got any colonies you'd like to request an update on, let me know, because I'm really... I'm, I'm an open book.